I played Minecraft The World Update. It started out pretty nice. This cherry grove biome is so beautiful and voting was so fun until it wasn't. Few wrong choices and my whole world is covered in lava. I lost everything and my sweet horse. This was all in part 1. I recommend you to watch it before you watch this episode. So today I will try my best to recover from all the losses. Can I do this? You'll have to watch. So I just lost my home and my horse and the moon gravity is pulling me back and I'm not sure if I can outrun the lava. I think my biggest problem was I didn't have a plan. So today I need a solid plan and I will follow it. First I want to beat the game, meaning I want to beat the dragon. For that I need to go to the nether, find nether fortress, get blaze rods and ice of ender. But unfortunately I cannot go to the lava just yet. First I need to repel the uncontrollable lava because as soon as I go to nether it will definitely be overrun by lava. Waiting for the repeal vote can take a while, so in the meantime I want to get full diamond armor and tools. And after I will be able to actually beat the dragon, I want to build a new base in much much safer place. So I'm thinking about moon. Now that I've got a plan, I need to act on it. And I need to create some temporary base. Let's see what I can find. Hey look a village, maybe I can replenish some of my supplies. Ok, I've got new plan. I voted for something interesting. I can use stone cutters to pay for villagers. Look at that. So now I just need one iron and three stone and getting a lot of iron is not that hard. So I want to trade for full diamond armor. Also I've got to find few more diamonds to do the trick with multiplying them. I've got eight so far, I just need one. Can you believe that it's hard to get diamonds? Oh I've got another repeal vote, but nothing about lava. Repeal sponges can be used to remove lava, I mean I need to remove that lava, but I don't have enough sponges. I need mountain of sponges. Hey, look, I found obsidian. Wait a minute. I just realized something. I voted for glazed terracotta instead of obsidian. So I cannot get enough obsidian to go to the nether. On the other hand, I cannot go to nether as long as the lava is uncontrollable. That's gonna be very disastrous. So in order to go to nether, First I need to repeal spawn glazed terracotta instead of lava and then I need to repeal uncontrollable lava. It's getting so impossible. Obviously I wasn't using my brain when I was voting and now I'm gonna pay for it. I think that's a very good teaching moment. You've got to use brain when you vote. It's obvious, isn't it? So anyway, I've trapped one villager here and I hope to get enough trading with him to get full diamond armor. I found quite nice ravine with a lot of iron so it's not gonna be impossible. Hmm, a sushi diet. I like sushi. And celebrate voting. I mean, some of my votes are not worth celebrating, but I've gotta do that. Update. I cannot eat bread. Why did I vote for sushi diet? Now I've got to fish, because I can only eat fish raw. It's a bit hard to fish when I'm getting pulled by the moon. But on the upside, look what's happening. The fishing is so buff. That's kind of enjoyable. Also, I get a lot of enchanted books. That's gonna be so useful. Especially when I've got to trade for tools and armor. The stuff that I voted for, it keeps piling up. I need to track it a little bit better. And I'm not sure what some of this stuff do. And I still need to find one diamond. And you can say, just dig down and mine for it. And you know what? I cannot. The lava has flooded the bottom of the world. So I tried to dig down and I encountered a lot of lava. So I cannot just mine for diamonds. I have to find any other way to find one diamond. It cannot be more complicated than that, can it? So I need to search for either buried treasure or actually, I just want to get enough of armor and tools and go to the end. I want to beat the game, defeat dragon, get wings, collect a lot of supplies, hopefully find diamond in one of the cities and go to the moon. There is no lava on the moon, so it's gotta be much much safer there. So I've been a little bit traumatized by votes and some of the votes became so complicated, I'm not really sure what I'm voting for. I mean, what is this? By the way, fishing has changed a little bit. I'm getting all sorts of stuff. No more fish, but I can fish literally anything. Hold on, something changed. Wait a minute. I just voted for Midas Touch 
And if you don't know, according to Greek mythology, there was this king Midas that could turn everything into gold by touch. You think it's a blessing? It's actually kind of curse also. But I wanted to try it out. Sounds very interesting. If I can turn blocks into the gold and then repeal Midas touch, I'm gonna have so much gold to trade with piglins and then I can go to the end much faster. Hey, look, I'm also golden and my armor seems to be golden and my tools turn golden. Oh no. Was it a bad decision to vote for that? Is everything in my inventory will turn to gold? Maybe I should put my diamonds in the chest? All my fishing stuff turned into gold. Okay, let me rescue some things before it's too late. And for some reason these ingots they don't stuck together because they were different items. Let me just collect everything and... Hold on, Wh what happened to the chest? Why is it golden? I wonder, will this touch work on mobs? Oh yeah, it does. It definitely does. I'm not sure what to do. My food turned into gold, so I can't eat. But I can walk on water, just like that. Hmm, I wonder, what if I mine all trees and get apples? Will they also turn to golden apples? Well, it's getting dark, let me sleep very fast. And now I turned villager into the gold. I'm sorry, sir. I wonder if I repeal vote, will they come back to normal or not? Now I need to hunger reset. Since I can't eat, that's my only option. At least bed didn't turn to gold, that's reassuring. My only problem is that I have to punch the tree like this. I cannot craft axe, even golden axe, because I cannot have sticks and I cannot have crafting table. All I get from the trees are nuggets and golden blocks. But apples are golden, that's good, I can craft a lot of golden apples, I mean farm. Hello there. I'm big brain here. And finally I repeal the Midas touch. Unfortunately I lost all my armor, all my tools and all of my diamonds. So now I can just fish and hope I can find something interesting. And you know, actually I do. I found a lot of potions of mobs. I'm not quite sure how it works, so I figured something out. So when I drink this potion I turn into that mob and I left with a bottle of air. And look, I'm a dragon. That's quite interesting. I want to beat the dragon by being a dragon. Unfortunately, I don't get other properties of the mob. Can I can I shoot those dragon balls? At least I can fly. It's gonna be so useful. And you know, I'm not stuck as dragon forever. If I drink from the bottle of air, I will get bottle of void. And then if I drink it again, I will stop being dragon and I will still have the potion of dragon. So I can actually choose when I want to be dragon or any other mob. This is so fun and useful. So I don't need elytra. Actually I fished elytra from fishing earlier. But I still want to go to end city so I can find armor and some of the tools. But I'm still waiting to repeal the uncontrollable lava. I mean this part of the world is not flooded with lava yet. Only underneath. I repealed uncontrollable lava. Yep, this is the vote I will really celebrate. Finally, I can go to nether. Life's a dream. Yes, I agree. I don't know what it does, but I'm curious. Oh, look, everything is shiny. And my computer is very unhappy. At least I finally can get obsidian because I finally voted to repeal that green glazed terracotta. But you see, I've got another problem. I move weirdly and jump like crazy. I move like Morrowind player. I don't think it's very sustainable. At least I don't get damage. But moving is so impossible, especially with all this luck because of the shiny stuff. And somehow I fell into one block of lava. I'm not learning my lesson, am I not? I need to wait a while until I can repeal all of this again. So I'm trying to go to the nether, but 
Getting cat is more important. Hey, I got cat. After fishing for so long, I got so much fish, I can have all the cats in the game. And you know why I'm doing this? Because I can ride cats now. And I'm small enough, cat can handle me. Finally, I repealed uncontrollable lava and I can go to the nether. And because it's bright everywhere, I can really see far. And there is no fog, that's what I voted for. And of course, I'm being attacked by ghosts. By the way, I wonder, what if I change my appearance for the nether? It's gonna make my experience is much more easier. Yep, I can just fly and find the fortress. So, update. Because I have that rule that everything is bright, it includes nether. So everything that needs darkness to spawn, doesn't spawn anymore. So it means there are no blazes. And without blaze rods, I cannot go to the end. So I really need to repeal darkness everywhere. And that's why there are so many ghosts everywhere. Because they can spawn. But unfortunately no piglins, so no fire resistance. So I've gotta wait. Oh, look at that. Everything is so big. And I'm still small. And parrot. I really like being parrot. But now everything is so big. I voted for world's giant. I think it's so fun. What if I become myself? Uh, still small. Why am I not a giant? Anyway, while I wait to make world dark again, I can do this achievement. I got gas spawn egg, so I can have this uneasy alliance achievement very very easy. Finally, I voted for the world is dark. It was not the repeal unfortunately, so it's gonna be dark in the overworld. It means zombie, creepers and skeletons when I come back. But I don't worry about that. I just need to trade for some potions right now and go defeat some places. Come on, give me something useful. Not leather. I have plenty of gold, so I don't have to worry about being lucky. I just need to be patient. So I've got my fire resistance potion and I'm ready to face blazes. I mean, they will be so easy to spot. They are giants too. Why are there so many loot lying around? Oh, I get it. Because mobs are so big, they're getting easily suffocated. So if they spawn and there is not enough space, they just don't survive. That's why so much drop. Also, items don't really despawn that fast anymore and they stay on the ground. It actually kind of lags my world. And I don't know why, I have no idea. Why do I get so many blaze rods from one blaze? What are these raids? Is this a dream mode? But I thought I repealed dream mode. Nothing is shiny anymore as you can see. Why is all the drop multiplied so much? What is going on? What did I vote for? I mean, I'm happy. I just need to find enderman or trade a little bit more with this piglin and I can go to the end. And now I'm ready to go back. There is one thing though. It should be dark. Yep, it's very dark. And I cannot see where to go. And all the mobs are so huge. Luckily, I'm a pirate and I'm above all. Look at that horse. Anyway, I crafted some eyes of ender so they can lead me. So I just need to follow direction and I don't really care if it's dark or not. What is that? Why is that zombie villager upside down in the air? By the way, at some point I voted for the zombie apocalypse and I don't think it was my smartest idea because... Uh, just look at that. Everything turns into zombies, even my upside down cows. And they are after me and they are huge and it's dark and I need to find stronghold. Okay, so I figured it out. There is stronghold next to that village. I think I found the chunk. Yep, it's correct chunk. I just need to dig down. But these zombies... Oh, the consequences of my action. By the way, the fog disappeared. I guess I repealed it at some point. Anyway, I'm digging down and it's super dark. But I should get closer. 
Oh, yes, I found stronghold. Now I have to find portal room. By the way, there are no enemy mobs anywhere here, because they are too tall to survive here. So basically stronghold is very safe place for me. And finally I found the portal room and I'm ready to go and defeat a dragon. Oh no, it looks terrifying. All the endermen are in the air. I'm pretty sure their hitboxes instill on the bottom. But I wanted to defeat the dragon as a dragon. Let's see if I can do it. So I can shoot down all the towers very very easily. So let's start from that. So I encountered a problem. I don't have enough arrows to defeat a dragon and I cannot get close to it because I'm too big. So it's better if I transform into some smaller mob. Let me just grab my shulker box with different potions and choose who I want to be for this fight. Oh no! The dragon destroyed my box! My shulker box with all the valuable stuff and all my potions! Oh no! I guess I have to fight a dragon as myself. Just small tiny me. And also, I can get some achievements. I like getting achievements. And I'm getting close to beating the dragon. I just need it to perch again. Just few more hits. I defeated the dragon despite all of the problems and now I can explore the end, get some supplies and go to the moon. But I can be a dragon and find the cities very very easy. And finding one is not a problem. And I don't even care if it has a boat or not. I already have a lightra and I can fly being some sort of a mob that can fly. I don't even need shulker boxes, I already have some shulkers from fishing. I just need diamonds and diamond tools and armor. By the way, I'm French and I don't know French language. And those enchantment names are just... I don't know what I'm getting. I can not use a translator maybe, but I don't know, it's just fun. I hope I can get silk touch, but how is silk touch in French? Well, I cannot be dragon, but at least I can fly, if I grapple just like that. Yep, I can fly all the way home. At least I've got a lot of supplies. I just need to figure out which of these can be useful to me. Is it bad? Oh no, it's not bad. I'm drowned. I'm French drowned. By the way, I'm bee now. I can bee live. Because can you imagine? Bee in the end. O okay, okay, I'll stop now. I just hope I can recover all of my stuff and move on. So I found very nice place with couple of end cities. And I hope I can finally find what I was looking for. Which is silk touch peacocks and couple more diamonds. Hey, would you look at that? Two chests and so many diamonds. And I already found silk touch before. Unfortunately, it's iron silk touch. But look at all those diamonds. Now I can multiply them and have enough for diamond beacon. And I actually already have beacon. I completely forgot. I fished it out from buff fishing. Time to go back the normal way. Hello, monsieur. Hey, I'm not a bee anymore. Why am I not a bee anymore? But I'm still French. But look at the, all the stuff that I got. 
This was the easiest end bust ever. I got all these things that I'm not sure what it means. And also I fished some potions of alays. And I really want to be alay because then I can fly. I just need to find a few more supplies and I'm ready to go. Before I go to the moon I want to check my starter house. What has happened to it? Will lava go back to normal or not? Oh, I can see, I can see where it stopped. Apparently I wasn't so far, so if I was a little bit closer I would be in danger. But uncontrollable lava is repealed, so it's not spreading anymore. But it didn't go back to normal. Yep, unfortunately it's gone. But I want to have enough supplies and build my house on the moon. And now I'm ready to ascend. The green sky is so surreal. Let me vote for something so I can see how fireworks work in the air. Oh yeah, it's it's fun. And yep, finally I'm getting to the moon again and I voted for the earth to change shape a few times and it's still the same shape. What's wrong? And I'm back to the moon. Uh, by the way, it says I only played 37 days, but at some point I changed the length of the day and one day was like one hour or two hours, I'm not sure. So it's been many hours. And I found out a little secret. On the moon you can find a rover and if you find it you have to go onto it. There is a golden pressure plate and if you step on it, well, you have to see. So let me show you what it does. So apparently it grows into this huge copper structure that will turn into this giant structure made out of copper blocks of different stages. And a new block, copper spliff. Whenever you touch it, it just breaks. And it has chests with random stuff everywhere. So you have to play this spliff game and find all the chests. There may be something interesting, I don't know. Of course I can turn to LA. If I turn to LA I can just fly to all of these chests very very easily. Anyway, moon surface is kind of boring and having this structure is very good to make a background for my house. And I look, I just found another rover. Let's activate it. So now between these two blobs of copper I can build my house just here. I will make it very simple because that's what I wanted initially. It's a bit hard to build when I jump so high every time. So I want to build my small cherry house. So I want to place bed but I'm not sure if bed works in this dimension so I've got a test. Nope, not putting it in my house. Moving on. Now I want to hunt for all the cows. Apparently if I create air and that craft that air into packed air, I can release it inside of my house and then I will have breathable atmosphere. So let's try out. I don't know if anything happened. If my bubbles don't go lower, I think it worked. By the way, what do you think about this interior? It's very, very simple, but I think it's cozy enough. Let's add some greenery. I know having leaves like that in your house doesn't make any sense, but I like it. That's exactly the house I wanted in the beginning of my world. Small, humble and cozy. But you see, outside is not very nice. I've got to transform that. By the way, that's how my house looks outside. What do you think? 
I think it's quite cute. Simple, but cute. By the way, all those diamond blocks, time to put beacon. I want to make it speed, because moving in this, it's a bit painful. Also, I want to get few of the animals. I already got panda, now I'm getting chickens. This place is coming together. And if I splash chickens with uh, some of the splash potions that I have, for example, camel. Um, that was fail. Sniffers! Oh, I really like how they look. They still behave like chickens, though. Anyway, this new mob is amazing. And I can turn into whoever I want to. Apparently with bottles of void you can craft your own mob potions just by right clicking it. And I chose to be Iron Golem. I mean, Golden Golem? And I have some cracks. That's so funny. By the way, I created this tiny garden around my house. It looks so cute. It looks so cute. What does it, what does it do? It's digging into cheese. Do panda love cheese? Few final touches. What if I add some bees? They will really help with this garden. Oh, it's really coming together very, very nicely. By the way, I went up to explore a little bit more of this maze. And I found out there are not only chests, there are also green shulker boxes. They are green, so they are a bit harder to see. But they have some valuable stuff. Look at my tiny oasis. So I found some budding amethyst. Let's put budding amethyst hanging from a tree. Does it make sense? I'm not sure. But it's a great addition to my tiny garden. This was a wild ride. I've spent hours in this world. There were so many ups and downs. It was diabolical. And now I'm safe on the moon with my friend Panda. I'm so, so happy with everything that I achieved. This update is phenomenal. I love that Moyang developers, instead of just making joke out of us, make something that really worth our attention and play. I had so, so much fun and everyone who played this game, I mean the vote update, everyone has unique experience and that's what makes it special. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please remember to subscribe, leave like and comment and let me know. Did you play it? What do you think about the vote system? And see you in the next episode. Bye!